Hey guys, it's Caleb with White Metal Games here, and I got a special video treat for you today. Uh, so I've had a bunch of commissions come in recently, and uh, uh, I'm seeing the tail end of those where I'm finishing them up one by one. Um, so uh, earlier this week I finished up the Tyranid Bio Knight, which was awesome, and please check out the pictures on our Flickr page and our uh, Facebook page. But we've got a second night in the works, and it just got finished up today, and um, here we go. So it's not this guy, he's just here for scale. It's actually this lady. Um, so we're calling this uh, the Mother Superior. So the idea with this project is the client wanted a uh, Adeptus Serita style knight. Um, so I'm going to pull it up a little bit closer so you guys can get, get all the fun goodies on this thing. So uh, just to sort of give you a sense of scale there, you can see that it literally towers over uh, the regular knight. This is an orc knight that we built using the base knight kit. And just for sake of scale, you can see that it's a good three or four inches higher than that. Um, and the pictures really well outline that. So what the client specifically requested was he wanted a bunch of different options, um, and he also wanted the, the figure to be feminine, tall, lean, and lithe, kind of like a Serastus knight. Um, but he wanted it to have Adeptus Serita sort of styles and, 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 and emblems and that sort of fun stuff. So let's just go through all the options. Um, so first off, it comes with the basic knight stuff so that he can count it as a regular knight. It comes with the uh, giant thermal weapon, thermal cannon. Uh, and he also requested, instead of a, a chain sword, he wanted some sort of power sword weapon. So we took the blade from a Grey Knight's sword and made our own pommel and hilt, and then tagged it on um, with uh, sort of an energy effect here, um, as well as uh, a nice gleam, gleam effect on the blade. So it's got some really fun OSL and light points going on there. He also wanted to be able to count as a Serastus Knight, so we needed to come up with an energy shield and uh, a lance. So for the lance, this is what we cooked up. It's a combination of a bunch of different bits all cooked together to make it work. And then you've got your hand trigger guard up there. And then for the shield, this is also a conglomeration of a bunch of different bits, some of which you'll recognize and some of which you probably won't. Um, and that also has a nice, fun-looking energy effect going on there. The blue clashes really, really, not clashes, contrasts really well against the gold and the red on this model, which is the predominant color throughout. You can see we add a little bit more OSL here on the face for this eye lens. And then we applied heating effect to both the stubber and to the melt weapon So it's got some nice contrasting color going on all around it. The base is also a really big deal. He wanted some sort of big, bold base. And um, we talked about Tyranids at first, but I, I feel for like a model this big, you need to show how tough it really is. So we, we cooked up a Demon Prince and uh, just put it together with spare bits. Um, and you can see there it's got sort of a lash whip and uh, kind of a, a, an axe of sorts. So he's just kind of a generic-y, maybe Iron Warrens-ish. Iron Warriors-ish themed Demon Prince, kind of gray. I wanted the gray to contrast with the red, and I also wanted the gray to sort of blend into the base so that you didn't worry too much about the base. You don't want the base to be the emphasis of the piece, you want it to support the piece. Um, and I think it actually really does. Um, so you can see there that she's got a lot of nun-like characteristics. She's got a feminine face, she's got these robes all over the place, uh, lots, of, lots of nice gold trim. We've got a lot of these Adeptus Serita symbols kind of hidden all over the thing, down, down there on the, uh, the plate on the uh, tabard as well. Uh, and then we've also worked in a lot of feather iconography for the Adeptus Serita. So you've got uh, tons of these like feathery kind of shoulder pads. You've got this big trumpeting sort of thing up there um, uh, with a cherubim kind of uh, supporting it. Um, so yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. These hands are actually not magnetized, they actually just pin into place, so you can actually pull them out. Now, I don't know if I can do it with just one hand, but I'll try to. Oop, I can. So there you go. So you can see it just sort of pins right there, and then you can swap that out easily with these other pins. Um, and if for whatever reason it was ever a problem down the road, it could be magnetized, but I don't think magnets are always the best option, so I don't always use them. Um, so in this case, I thought pins were just plenty enough. So yeah, this is just an example of one of the things we can do at White Metal Games. Um, and, uh, you know, our claim to fame is kind of we do custom transfigurations where we make your models personalized and special and we try to scratch build as much as we can. Um, so, yeah, look for this sorts of models uh, from us in the future. Uh, bear in mind, we are available for commission. Uh, just contact us at info at whitemetalgames.com. Even though we've got a lot of projects lined up the next couple months, we have a lot of new painters coming on staff. We have at least two or three new painters that we're joining up with. So we're going to be available to do smaller projects. We just can't really commit to any big projects till after the first of the year. Uh, but if you want to get on our queue, the best way to do is just contact us and let us know what you're interested in. Uh, and we will add you to our queue as soon as we can. Um, or at the very least, we can give you a price quote. That way you can have some comparison shopping and uh, consider us for future projects. So that's it for now. Till next time, put your minis where your mouth is.